Hello, and welcome to some more Chrono Trigger. I am the Pale Ghost Man, because I'm doing this while the sun is directly in front of this window. And also, I might sneeze. Um, yeah, so I am getting dangerously close to my trip to Japan. Today is Friday. It is six days away that I will leave in the evening to go to Japan for 10 days, and then a couple days after that, on November 2nd, Saturday, I will be doing Extra Life for 24 hours, uh, as I do every year. So, I gotta beat this. There's a tab here. I haven't given Chrono the tabs in a long time, but I always give Chrono the tabs. He is my special, special boy. Turns out, I want to rest at an inn. So we're going to do that. Uh, you guys right here? I did spend a lot of money on new stuff, though, so hopefully it's cheap. Oh, he's just, he letting us do it for free. Dang. Yeah, I feel weird because I, like... <sighs> there are a bunch of new games that just came out that I really want to be playing. Uh, Concrete Genie, John Wick Hex, and Indivisible all came out on the same day. I backed Indivisible back, like, a bajillion years ago. Probably 2015, I think. And I have been playing that. I did not start Concrete Genie or John Wick Hex because I've just been doing a bunch of stuff. Ooh, boss time. Oh, no, wait, these aren't bosses. These are regular boys. Act power up. Okay. Get fucked up. Might as well use lightning too, see how it pans out. Because it might as well be free! So I have played Indivisible for a handful of hours, and that's it. I didn't start the other two, and I've been going back to Monster Hunter a lot. Even though I beat the story mode of that, I've been playing with that still. And I have I had had it in my head like two months ago that I was gonna watch all the Studio Ghibli films because I'm going to the Studio Ghibli Museum, and then I like watched one and got so depressed by it that I didn't watch anymore uh, and now the trip is coming up so I started watching one last night but I was really tired because I had swapped my shifts around normally I open on Monday and Tuesday close on Wednesday and Thursday but I swapped that so I was tired and then I watched three-fourths of the movie and then had to go to bed so I finished watching the rest of that today and I had to mow my lawn adult responsibilities are dumb I hate that I have to mow my lawn not enjoy it, but I live in a neighborhood where people would be super too late if I did not, like, at least minimally upkeep my lawn. So, I try to do that. I mean, if it was just something where I thought I was going to be silently judged, I would do that, but people will, like, turn you into the town and be like, look at his lawn! He only mows it on his day off. What? You can't pass through here. So the moral of the story is I don't think I'm going to play many video games. Between here and... Because 
I think I'm gonna try to watch one Studio Ghibli movie a night, and then maybe bring my laptop with me on the flight so that I have 12 hours of movie watching time. It's a bummer, none of the games that I like really want to play are out on the Switch right now, so I like everything I is something I will have to leave behind. my podcast this week. I guess I have Monday off, and I normally would not have Monday off, so that's cool. You know, like, I work tomorrow. I, t I told my friend Mickey I would play Monster Hunter with him tomorrow night. So there goes tomorrow night and all day, because I'll be at work. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be at work. One of those days, probably Wednesday, I'll have to record the podcast not enough time anymore. The fuck? Getting booty blasted here. That said, Indivisible, I really like. I've seen a lot of people saying that they are disappointed by it after the wait that it took, uh, but I really like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an aura whirl here for good measure. It has a Valkyrie profile-like combat system. So it's cool and more akin to a fighting game and like actually takes like skill as opposed to just leveling up. The progression is not like super in-depth and you can't really tell a difference that much, which like is fine to me because I'm the kind of person who will like, oh I will grind to become way better and then I end up like doing a bunch of stuff that deters my enjoyment of the game just to try to be stronger. So far, I'm enjoying it. Will that hold up over the course of the 30 hours? Who knows? This will do it. So my man Frog is really great. He can heal everyone. He's got mad attack. Top notch. Top notch stuff. One of, any one of you has to be close to dying. Did I 
give her the gold stud? She still had the silver stud, because one for that is the same. That's my new strat. Lighting 2 all the time. Marlin's Ice 2. Ooh, triple tech! Between the three homies? We'll have to try to use that, even though it won't do that much damage for... For a lot of MP. Let's heal up, shall we? I'll save first. Guru of Mount Wo. All right. Ah. But yeah, I think if I play this for like two ish hours today, if I play for a few hours on Sunday, I can also play for a few hours on Monday. Be able to do it. See the conclusion of Chrono Trigger. Alright, this is very important. These things make it so that you can't use text or items, and they have a very low rate of being hit. If, by some miracle, we can hit them and kill them. They give a literal fuckload of tech points. Usually they take two hits. Oh, yes. A hundred tech points. Water two, glacier. Right, how much do we need? Or anything? Oh, I want Chrono to learn Luminaire so bad I need it. Okay. Towards the allies HP fully, my man. Okay, so we need 410 for both? Oh, no, 480. Okay, so we can... Uh, I want to get... Uh, I want Chrono to get his final tech. That's what I want. triple tech is, because I don't think we've done a triple tech yet. Yo, that was tight! <laughs> 1,500? All right. Ooh, he didn't need that. He didn't... Ugh. Okay, it didn't cost that much. Uh, it probably cost the most for Marl. She actually cast a spell. Triple tech's very good. But you gotta outweigh the cost. Is it worth it to use up all three characters' bars for that? Please hit. We need this. Frog. Oh, someone. Yes. No! They will disappear, so that's why it sucks. Hog. Ah! I think he's done. Oh! Yes. Ah. They'll disappear. Oh, they 
so much time. Let's, okay. As far as I'm aware, they do not respawn. Well, that's pretty cool. guys annoy me because I I can never tell if I did enough damage if they would just die in the first phase or if they just eat excess damage to go to the regular imp. The poor imp, I know, 15 hundo, man. Dang, what the hell? Chat's not live on my phone. did the Twitch app, you know, I don't want to talk trash about the Twitch app, but since they redid it, chat has been awful on my phone. Like, never connects. Now it is. Anyways, Rock Boys give mad, mad TV. Very exciting. Ah! Frog, you haven't hit one yet, my man. Please. And your crit rate is so high. Crit it. Oh, when we miss one, I'll cry. I should have used save states to scum it. Oh, yeah. Luminaire, I mean, especially if you give Chrono the gold stud, like, if you just spam his final skill, like, it... I mean, that's the attack <laughs> that you should be using. Okay, he ran away. That is one of the things that, like, playing this game now that I'm older and not young and dumb, uh, you realize how easy it is. Like, you can use a whole bunch of strategy and do a whole bunch of stuff, but it's really, the game sets it up to be really easy for you to just spam specific text. Like, the strategy I'm using right now with Chrono will just be replaced with his final attack luminaire as soon as I get it. The sequel actually does better with that stuff. Um, just because Chrono Cross has such a unique battle system. Which, out of the context of having the game to help you explain it, it's kind of difficult to explain, just like apropos of nothing, but uh, Chrono Cross is one of the most unique JRPG battle systems of all time. And, you know, it's either like a take it or leave it thing for a lot of people. Some people really like it, like me, and then other people just can't stand it. Oh yeah, man. I I am glad when anyone plays Chrono Trigger. And despite the fact that, like, if you have played a JRPG before, it's pretty on the easy side. Um, but I think it still holds up. That's one of the things that I like about the sprite style of, like, SNES games and some PS1 games. Is like, while that style has been a little bit played out in modern indie games, 
it still holds up because people still make games like this. It's a lot harder for me to recommend people to play early PS2 games or like 3D-esque PS1 games because they look like trash. Like, I can't in good faith tell someone like, hey man, <laughs> go play Final Fantasy VII because holy shit, it looks rough. Like, you can barely tell what they are and it's just not aesthetically pleasing despite the fact that the game is good. Um, I mean, I would be the one to debate you on whether or not Final Fantasy VII is truly good or not, but as, as a... As an overall JRPG is very good. Perhaps people put it up on too high of a pedestal, in my opinion, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, man. If you played FF7 for the first time two years ago, you just look at that and be like, Ugh, what is this? Cloud's body's literally made up of individual polygons. Like, this shit looks... Oh, how do I get that chest? Did I do folks? Do I care enough to want the chest? That's the true question. Um, as most people may know, I have a problem with Final Fantasy games, and a lot of JRPGs in general, where I get to the final boss and then quit, because I am a criminal. FF7 I have beaten. FF9, which I also like a lot more, I have never beaten, but I've gotten to the final boss numerous times, and I, I agree with that. I personally like FF9 a lot. Like, it's one of those things that I... FF7 was super important at the time. It was, uh... The first fully 3D JRPG, you know? In the same way that, like, I think Final Fantasy X is a great game. I will clown on the voice acting and characters all day. Um, but it was... The, it, that was also super important. It was the first JRPG, at least that I can remember, that had full voice cutscenes for the most part. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not the kind of person who would ever do an Excalibur to run in uh, FF9. Just because, like, dude, I don't play games fast at all. I, like, play the opposite of fast. I do slow runs. How long can I possibly take to beat this game? Ooh, Marl. Hell yeah. All right. So many chances to hit, Frog. You gotta do it. For me, yes, my man. The Mass Moon. Load vest. Does Frog already have the load vest? No. Give it to Chrono anyways. <laughs> you can't, right? You got the looming robes and this girl better? No. Um, but I played Chrono Trigger at the exact right time. And it uh, spoke to me a lot at that time. And probably changed a lot of my taste in games and media overall. So, like... It will forever be my favorite game, but I think now, if someone, like, played Chrono Trigger within the past few years and then played Chrono Cross, I think they would like Chrono Cross a lot more. While the, uh, the characterization of the characters isn't quite as much as it is in this, because there are so many, I can't remember the exact number, there's high 20s or, like, early 30s or something characters don't get that much. Double Q. 
pure baby ice sword. Outside of certain story-specific characters, which kind of is a bummer, but they at least all have unique uh, writing. Like, they all have some weird uh, speech quirk. But, uh, I mean, at least back in the day, people used to like to trash on it because they thought that it wasn't a good sequel to Chrono Trigger, and I can kind of understand that because the elements that tie it to Chrono Trigger are buried pretty deep below the surface. Um, there are parts later in the game where it is very explicitly brought to the forefront, but, like, you're not just gonna be like, oh man, I'm hanging out with Chrono, you know what I mean? So it's... I think people wanted a true sequel, although with the true canon ending of this game, the main ending, like, I, I don't know that I would have enjoyed it seeing Chrono and Frog and them back again to, like, what are they going to do? You know what I mean? Like, they, obviously, spoilers, you beat Lava, so you, <laughs> I will beat the final boss. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that that complaint is kind of, like, overblown, especially with how unique. I wanted to try to play that before I went to Japan, too, but obviously I'm not gonna... Oh, God, Chrono, you dick. Obviously I'm not gonna beat the rest of this and then play, like, a 40-hour PS1 JRPG in the course of, like, six days. I am hype, and Yazunori Mitsuda did the music for, um... Chrono Cross as well. Very good. Top-notch, top-notch stuff. people that hoards all the freaking items in JRPGs and then you never use them. Usually by the end of this game, I just get so tired of it. I'm like, fine. I'll use them. Like, Lapis, it heals everyone in the party for 200 health. Like, sure. Just spam it all. Hell yeah, boy. Mm. I know, you could always need them later. So usually during the final boss of this game, I'm just like, I've had enough. Despite the fact that you could carry him over into a New Game Plus, but like, nothing gets harder in New Game Plus. You're just trying to beat the final boss before certain points of the game to see different endings. This kind of sucks, because I did not grind as much as I normally would in this game, and I'm very used to having Luminaire for this boss. So we'll see how that pans up. <laughs> If I have Marl with haste on the whole party, I think be yeah, okay. It's weird, I only have three lapis. Maybe you just get a lot at the end of the game. I just usually at the end of the game I feel like I have a billion of them. Time hat prevents 
slow. Why not give our boy one more magic? This freaking menu, man. Menus have come a long way since 1995, let me tell you. Ah, tis where the guru of life remains imprisoned. Look, it's disappearing. This boss is actually hard, so I might die. Really? This is how we're... Oh my god. Okay. Like I said, uh, the last episode of the episode before, there are a few, like, roadblocks in this game where the bosses are actually kind of difficult. Magus is the first real one. Um, this one, I also think, can be pretty tough for people, depending on who you bring and how you have spec. I am not attacking yet because he will counter, depending on where you attack, and I don't... don't remember. Well, let me tell you, if you are a psychopathic grinder and you uh, get Chrono's final tech before this, um, you can annihilate this boss. <laughs> Especially if you have the gold stuff. Normally, I would be, but it's not always the most exciting for streaming. Not that I usually care about that. I usually prefer to do it the way I want to do it, but... Actually, let's, uh, let's just do it. Oh, well, we're just waiting for that. You know, that's not that bad. To recover full health? Alright, let's see what we'll like. This block does look like an Esper. Oh, oh, see, Luminaire would do like a thousand to all. This is so sad. Got him! <laughs> Alright. Let's just do that. So the hands together will... do crazy shit. But yeah, if you do this boss a certain way and you don't really know what you're supposed to be doing, it can definitely screw you up. I do not think I'm going to have that problem. Now. Because the fact that before it's arms revive, we're going to get like 5,000 damage on it is, uh... Ooh! Uh. Well, he didn't res me yet, so...
Will Frog run out of MP before we're done? Probably not. I think this is gonna be it. Oh, I was right. Called it. If there was an example of triple text being useful. Yeah, if you have Luminaire there, it does like about a thousand to each thing. So if you use Luminaire twice, sometimes once, it will kill both hands and the head. So that way, if you have Chrono use Luminaire, it does a thousand on the head. And then you can either have Frog try to crit every time with the Massa Moon, or have him and Marl or whoever else you have use a dual tech. And then you end up doing twice the damage to the head. So it ends up being like even easier than it was there, but. Old man Melchior. Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we met before? More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? I see. The queen has degenerated to that degree. The more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Lavos. So as we know, Melchior is now in a thousand AD. We must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. He's the one who helped us forge the massive moon. Elder, the mountain of woe is about to crumble. Mommy, the mountain's gonna fall. Lavo sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the Mammon Machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Shala's here. What? Shala's here? Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We Enlightened Ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos's control. What a filthy hovel. Melchior, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. And all is lost. But without me, the Mammon Machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the skyway open. Hurry, we must stop my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? Dalton. Tisk tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Ah! You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny, and Shala's dusk. Duh, dust. Got it? Shala! The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. I am alright, but we must save Shala, or else. Impossible, even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed.
you're willing to challenge the queen? You've done so much for us, and I don't even know your names. Worry not thine head, thou hast fixed the massa moon. What are you talking about? Chrono, let's get going. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the Mammon machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. Got one ruby knife. Yeah, there, man, there are so many names in this that now, as an adult, I realize I was mispronouncing. And I will never change it. Like, it's not the Massa Moon, it's the Massa Moon, eh? And, like, sure. But, I mean, I guess also I'm not Japanese, so I wouldn't have known that as a kid. Beyond, so we gotta go to the ocean panels, baby. <laughs> they could have localized it like that. Massa Mooney. <laughs> hey! Interesting. So he actually finished the Wings of Time. In fact, gave his life for it. Why not put that device to good use? Take it to the ancient land of magic. I, dog, I already did that. Why did I come in here? Oh, it's this one. Nope, it's not. Oh my god. Ellie, please, man. I love you so much. There's a place she can jump up into my chair, and she wants to be close to me, but it is not ideal for screaming. Ooh, I can fight that new now that I have tomorrow with me. Uh, mm, dang. I don't remember the order of this one. Get it. Water, wind, fire? Yes! The guru of reason is gone. Challenge me? Okay, here we go. This is a special fight. Oh shit, well, that's not what I meant. I'm gonna do it on frog. So yeah, their attacks basically take you down to one health. So if you have someone who can heal, it's not that bad. Damn it. But then they'll do one damage. Frog's dead, son of a bitch. Oh no! Sometimes it'll do one.
attack points. You're strong. Take this. Got a magic tab, a speed tab. That's it. My friend Kelvin, uh, who is one of the people I'm going to Japan with to see the Chrono Concert, um, he had his DS stolen when he was in college, but in his DS version of Chrono Trigger, he had gone through the game uh, so many times, gotten every ending, and had everyone with max double star stats. And that cartridge was stolen. That's one of the saddest things I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's weird, because I, like, when I think about it, I think one of the main reasons that we ended up becoming such close friends was because of this game. Because that was when I started playing it, was in fifth grade. Yeah, man, press F to pay respects. But that took him a long time, um, because obviously once you hit max level, you then the only way to increase it is by tabs. <laughs> There's only so many tabs. <laughs> so, like, ooh. The thought of that seems like it would take forever. I'm sure it doesn't, won't, wouldn't take as long as I think it will, but... Uh, I'm an idiot. What's the wrong place? And you know, it actually might be one of the reasons why I ended up liking Inazuma so much, is because Yasunori Mitsuda also did the music for that franchise. Actually, go back. <laughs> Save. Interesting. Maybe there is an easy way to farm tabs. I don't believe he did it in an easy way, though. You know, now that I think about it, I don't know that the if the DS version has additional tabs or not. It probably has to, actually. Alright, Michelle is taken to the Ocean Palace. Oh, Dalton. Ooh, why is the Prophet allowed inside while well, I'm stuck with guard duty? Ha, there you are. I let the Prophet go, knowing he'd mess up sooner or later, but I've no use for you anymore. <laughs> Your history. heal, because only Chrono is hurt. And I always make the mistake of not hasting them all first, because obviously she can haste everyone else faster if she is hasted.
Yeah, I, I normally wouldn't even use her in my party. I just felt like I should switch it up this time. Um, normally I would have Robo instead at this part, but... It just makes the ATV bar go up so fast that it's, like, really easy to, to... to do anything with it. Like, you can just trash enemies before they can go multiple times. That's the classic JRPG strat, man. You can get everybody hasted up. Yeah, Aayla's broken. Um, she's ridiculously good, and I think a lot of people end up using Ayla as well. Whereas I would just usually stick with Robo, because I think he's cool. Whereas, like I said before, I don't like Ayla aesthetically that much, and then... Her, her physical attack is stupid good. But like a lot of her double techs and triple techs, I don't find particularly to be really cool, so... I guess in case people are watching this and they have not played the game before, I can't really say what my go-to party <laughs> is. No, I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. Oh, that is true. Uh, Ayla can steal. See, that's the one, like, JRPG thing that I never could get behind, is the fact that you would have to have the character that knew steal a lot because every boss or most encounters would have stuff that um, you can only steal. Like, this for sure, this game has that. Uh, there is only one set of bosses that I ever actually use steal on. The black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. Jala, raise the power of the Mammon Machine to its limit. Jala, you dare to disobey me? All right, Mother. Oh, what bright splendor, the incredible power of Lavos. buy more shelters at some point, but... Like, Xenoth Saga 3 was really bad about that. Oh, I don't have fire, so I can't easily kill those things. Is it the one of the same color, or is it the one of the opposite color? Chrono Cross has a lot of stuff that you can steal. It's actually very helpful. Fine. You can switch from the Massa Moon for right now, I guess. The issue with this party is if you fight things that need specific elemental weaknesses, two of them are water, so it's like... Great. Does 
water too. Now, if only there was a character with multiple elements. That would be sick. Ooh, 747? Holy... Why is he doing such little damage? It's because they're water. Weapon for a robo, I see how it is. Well, I've seen water too, I don't know that I've shown ice too, because she just learned it, so I'm gonna change that. Should have used ice. Takes so much less time. Okay. 